Hi, it's Clark on Sailing Vessel Temptress. About uh, two years ago, I guess it was, we did a video on how to put uh, dry goods in these uh, soda bottles and give them a carbon dioxide environment so they'll be a long life. Lots of questions all the time. Hey, how did that work out for you? So today I'm gonna to talk about how it worked out for us. We often talk about different levels of voyaging. You know, if you're just going out for the day, this approach is pretty silly for you. But if you're gonna go out, you're gonna be a voyager, you're gonna go out for a long time, th this is actually really handy. And if you're like a prepper type, this might be handy for you. Well, we've been out for a while now. We've been out for two years. Um, all of our dry goods and rice and stuff, we put in these soda bottles. We gave it a carbon dioxide uh, um, environment, and there's a video on that. Well, it worked really, really well. We've had uh, no weevils, no bugs at all, uh, kind of as expected, because they can't grow in that environment. Um, the food came out absolutely stellar. In fact, like the jasmine rice, which we're sad to say we've eaten all of now, we opened up the last bottle of that a few months ago, and it still had that flowery smell. It smelled absolutely fresh, just like we just bought it. So I gotta say, I really recommend this. Um, there would be a really short video if I stopped there. So I'm gonna show you what happens once you get out here. Now in the United States, your rice is, I don't know, maybe it's got pesticides in it, I don't know, but I've never really seen bugs. I think a lot of it is it's all kept in a nice, cool, dry environment and stored in an air conditioned store and stored probably in air conditioned or climate controlled warehouses the whole way. You get out here, it's hot, it's humid, and there's lots of weevil eggs around, and it's almost impossible to buy uh, rice, for example, that isn't already growing. We bought this bag of rice here in Luperon um, uh, a little while ago, and I bought it specifically because I could see a couple weevils in it. So we just set it on the shelf, and uh, the weevils have been thriving. So take a look at this. These little black guys crawling around, these are weevils and they're gross. And I've had a time when I was in a place where there was no other food, but I really didn't want to leave the place. It was beautiful, San Blas of Panama. I spent three months having to eat weevily rice. So this whole thing is how to avoid that. Now the weevils themselves, when you put the rice in the water, they'll float to the top and you can just skim them off. But their larvae are little white, I don't know, maggots maybe, uh, little white things that look like rice. Um, you just have to eat them. You couldn't possibly pick them all out. So let's all accept that that's kind of gross. Now, if I had gotten onto this when I didn't really see many weevils and I put it in the bottle, it would kill all the weevils and it would just be as good as that day. So months later, this, this will get really gross. And in fact, this bottle, which is rice we bought locally, um, has a dead weevil right here. It, um, I see no activity, and man, I can handle one dead bug in there. So I'm highly recommending that you use this effect if you decide to carry one of these carbon dioxide uh, uh, bottles on board. And of course, the carbon dioxide bottle's main use is to make fizzy water. My wife very much likes uh, carbonated water, and that's why we bought it initially. Well, let's kill some weevils. I'm gonna put them in this bottle, just like we do, and I'm gonna give them a carbon dioxide environment just so that, you know, we can see them ending their little crawliness. I'm kind of curious to see how quick this works, but um, uh, I'm gonna throw this away afterwards. I'm not gonna eat the, this bottle. I'm sure there's tougher sailors out there than me, but I've done it that once. I really don't care to have to do it again. What do they say about the old sailors, wooden ships and iron men, and they had to eat these things. Temptress is fiberglass and I'm not iron. That's good enough. Okay, you wanna fill these up all the way cause you know, they're gonna be blowing some carbon dioxide and uh, 
though there's a lot in that bottle. That bottle uh, might look kind of small, but it's got, it's a, the gas is in a liquid state. It's got 10 pounds of a gas. It should shock you that, you know, gas that you think of as almost weightless, that there's 10 pounds of it in there. It is a lot. When you do this, if you can, you know, squeeze what atmosphere you can out first, it'll give you a better concentration of carbon dioxide. Um, anyway, hook up here, give it a little shot of gas. That's it, it's in there. Oh, they don't look happy already. This was like no time at all. As soon as I put the gas in, I could see them like squirming around and then uh, they died and, oh, there's one. And it's kind of hard to see them anymore because they, they're not trying to crawl to the surface anymore. They like ceased activity almost immediately. So this just stops, and that's just one shot of carbon dioxide. This atmosphere is probably still mostly oxygen. It's a good indication of just how toxic carbon dioxide is to little creepy crawly bugs. Um, wow, that worked out better than I thought. I had said in the earlier video, you know, give them some gas and then vent the gas and do it again. If all you're concerned with is bugs, I think we've got proof that very little carbon dioxide does the trick. Uh, if what you want to do is get the oxygen out though, it's still better to vent that away and then give it another shot. And I do all the math in the other video, uh, so I won't bore you with it now, but um, wow, I, I'm actually quite impressed with how quickly that worked. So that stops the bugs growth in their track the day you buy it. So if you look at your rice and you say, I could tolerate eating that, uh, and you put this in storage for six months, in six months, this would have been probably more black than white. I'm going to take a little dive into the bag here. Some of it didn't fit in the bottle. Let's see if we can find uh, um, uh, the eggs, the larvae, the smaller versions of them. And then I'm getting this right off the boat because I'm kind of, it's kind of gross. Now well, there's a weevil. But we've seen weevils. Okay. See these little guys here, right by the end of my scissors? That's very dark there. I believe that's the uh, the larval form right there. Yep, yep, see he's moving. Uh, they don't float, so there's really no choice but to eat them. Here's another one. And then here's some little babies. I hope they come through on that camera. That's gross die. Um, I'm going to be dumping these right into the ocean, but I think that's pretty much proof that this works. I know I'm never going to not use carbon dioxide on my uh, rice again because I don't like eating bugs. It's not just rice that the weevils go into. Um, they'll go into flour, of course. Uh, they'll actually go into pasta, and when they do pasta, again, you have the weasel, weevils, and you know, you could really like brush off the pasta, but You'll see that they mined into the spaghetti. You'll see these little, I don't know how to describe them, these little bur burrow holes up into the pasta. Uh, they're still up in there. Their eggs and stuff are still up in there. Uh, let's not eat bugs. About reusing the bottles. Um, I've been reusing the bottles just over and over again. And one of the rice uh, fills I did, I did on a bottle that had really been abused it had been filled many times. It might have been stepped on, but it had a, a kind of a crease down the side. I'm going to recommend you don't do that. And I'm going to secondly recommend that you particularly don't do that with rice. Uh, it was right on my lap. I filled it up. It blew up, um, you know, tore down there with a 60 PSI of pressure in it. It didn't hurt me, really. Um, it was loud. It was uncomfortable. I don't recommend it. Maybe even safety glasses might be uh, appropriate. But the rice went everywhere. It was a rice grenade. We were picking up rice a month later. There was, there was rice in my hair. There was rice all over the place. So um, if you're going to reuse bottles a lot, make sure they're, they look like they're in good, strong condition. Bye from Temptress. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps a lot of you.
Besides, bubbly water is pretty cool.